Hello there. We are in my tomato garden located in central North Carolina. And what we're seeing here is damage from a tomato hornworm. You can see that the branches are stripped bare. There's usually seven of them, and several of them. And I noticed, uh, I noticed this a couple of days ago. And ever since then, I've been on the lookout for the hornworm that's causing it. And pretty typical hornworm damage. The problem with finding the hornworm is their camouflage is excellent, and you can't see them. Well, today I was picking tomatoes, and I noticed this. It looked like some kind of a white fungus growing on one of my plants. And so, I got a closer look, and... If you can see that, that is a hornworm. And again, notice the camouflage. Very good uh, coloring there. And what you're seeing with that white stuff, those are parasitic wasps. This wasp comes along, lays the eggs in the hornworm, and the uh, eggs will hatch and turn into pupa and these things have the ability to eat the hornworm while it's alive. Fate worse than death, if you ask me. And they have the ability to be careful and not do anything that's going to kill the hornworm. Um, they just keep eating and eating until there's nothing left. They, they stay away from the major organs and major nerves. And this hornworm is alive. Uh, let's poke him with some of the straw here. And See if we can get them to move. And what I do here, I don't, uh, I don't ever kill the worm when I see this. It is very rare. I only see this once every few years. But I never kill the worm because I want those larvae to hatch into the wasps and make sure that my worms stay under control. So I'm going to leave him be. And uh, he looks like he's chowing down on this leaf right now. And we'll just uh, let the wasps hatch and they'll kill my worm for me and maybe go find some others in here that I haven't discovered yet. 